Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got a quick project we're gonna do on the RMAX. I've got a new product in here, Massive Overkill. Uh, he posted a video a couple of weeks ago about the Gold Beach Automotive quick disconnects for the sway bars on this machine. And I went ahead and ordered them right away and luckily was able to get a set of rears as well. I know there were some limited quantities. So let me show you what I've got. So if you order the quick disconnects from Gold Beach, this is what you're gonna receive. You got two instructions for front and rear. These are the rears, these are the fronts. Comes with the new studs and everything you need. Uh, it does say in the instructions that uh, sometimes the studs are a little bigger than the factory uh, holes on the sway bars. So I went ahead and picked up the step bits, that way we can step it up to a half an inch if we need to. So you start by removing these links here. This is gonna be a 17 millimeter and you need a 14 millimeter wrench in behind to hold it. We'll go ahead and take these off. Now I've got the bottom side out here, but there's a little bit of a clearance issue right here getting to this back nut here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the other side so we can get a little bit more flexibility there. Now that I've got the other side undone, this is free to move around and we can get a ratchet in there. And there you have it for one of them. Same thing on the back side here. It's a 17 millimeter and a 14 to hold it. And ratchet wrenches work exceptionally well on that inside. So now that we've got our old links out of the way, we're gonna install these studs. And the instructions want you to use or retain your factory washer, so make sure you don't lose those when you're uh, uninstalling your factory links. I'm gonna go ahead and take these grommets off of the new studs, just so we don't booger those up during the installation process. So once you've got these new studs installed, uh, this is what it'll look like. You want to thread it similar to the way they came off. And this is a 14 millimeter and this is a half inch on these. Once you finish up with that, don't forget to reinstall your rubber grommets before you put your new link in. And that's what it looks like once it's fully installed. Uh, it took me about 20 minutes even with the filming, so uh, somebody that had the right tools and didn't have to operate the camera could probably do it in 10 to 15 minutes. Now we're going to move on to the back. Okay, so we made it to the rear. I went ahead just to make things easier to get to. Jacked the rear end up and pulled the rear wheels off. And I've got the top disconnected here. That's 17 millimeter bolt. Uh, or where you're holding here, that's gonna be 17, and then also the nuts 17 on the back for the top. The bottom here, I'm a little concerned about if I have to drill that, I may have to remove my factory A-arm guards, which that's fine. But uh, that's kind of what we're looking at right now. I'm gonna try to get that one off down there next. And uh, then I'll check the hardware and see if we're actually going to have to drill that. As I suspected, because of the A-arm guard, I can't get to that very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the A-arm guards off both sides and uh, that should free up the rest of the access. So with the A-arm guard out of the way, life is a lot easier. That popped right off, no problems. And the good news is the new studs 
fit the top, no problem. It's the bottom down here that's too tight. So we are gonna have to hit that with the step bit and we'll get that in here. So we're gonna do that next. I got the step bit kit at Harbor Freight and this one here goes to a half inch, which is what the instructions call for. So uh, we'll go ahead and run this in there and come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, that literally took no effort at all. It took two seconds to drill that out. I'll try to film it when I do the other side. It, it went super simple and now we've got enough clearance to fit everything back here. I'm gonna start putting it together. Okay, let's see if I can somehow manage to film this and drill it out one hand. That's it. So now that I've got that drilled out, I've got the new stud and nut installed. And this, unlike the front, the fronts, you reuse your washers and in the back, they give you new ones. So this is gonna be a 19 millimeter and this will be a 5 8 inch wrench. And just snug that down, wrench tight. Doesn't have to be anything too crazy because you've got the nylon locking nut there. So now I've got both the bottom and top studs installed and tightened down and we're ready to put our A-arm guards back on. And then lastly, we'll install the links. We've got our A-arm guards back on. Don't forget to stick your little rubber grommets back on before you put the links in. Only thing we have left to do now is put our wheels and tires back on and we're done. So now that we've got these installed, I want to show you guys how simple they are to disconnect. I'll try to do it without getting my hand in the way too bad, but uh, you're only they're spring loaded the way they work and you just pull up on the collar and it'll pop right off front and rear. It just takes a few seconds to get them off. So here we go. And just like that, they're out. And it's important to remember that you're only going to take one side off. You don't have to take both sides off. So you can have your passenger jump out and grab theirs. Or if you're by yourself, you can grab yours or uh, either any way you want to do it. But you're just going to take one off and leave the other uh, connected. The fronts are a lot easier to get to than the rears, but it's the same uh, thing. You just pull down on the collar, pop it off. Top and bottom, just takes a couple of seconds to get it out of there. That's gonna do it for the installation of our quick disconnects for the front and rear sway bars for the R-Max. These are available on Gold Beach Automotive's website. They have both the front and the rears for the R-Max, and I believe these also work on the X2 and the X4. If you have any questions, just hit them up. Jesse was really knowledgeable and willing to answer any questions I had. Uh, they had really good customer support and uh, it's a good product. So if you're looking to do this, just expect uh, to spend a little, probably right about an hour on your installation. I had a little over an hour uh, just because of having to take the wheels and tires off and uh, take off my factory A-arm guards. One of the reasons that I went ahead and picked these up was we've got a Windrock trip scheduled towards the end of June. And after seeing Massive Overkill's video of how much more articulation you get uh, from being able to disconnect these. I thought that would be definitely a good idea to try those out. So I'm really anxious to get them out there on the trail and see what they do. And uh, I will put a link in the description below to the video. And then when we go to Windrock, I'll be sure to shoot some video there and share it with you all as well. If you like what you've seen on the video here, consider giving us a like and a subscribe. We really appreciate it. If you have an opportunity, go back and check out some of our previous content. We just did a ride at Ivy Branch and we're getting ready to head to Mate One uh, for Memorial Day weekend to do some customer appreciation rides for Larry and Teresa Akers at Backwoods Rentals. We'll be covering some outlaws in the area as well as Buffalo Mountain and Devil Ants and probably some of Rock House too. So they're just in a really good location 
and uh, we really enjoy our time there. So stay tuned and we appreciate you. Until next time.